In this blog, which is about five minutes long, I want to address three issues. First, are you a Christian or a follower of Christ? Second, how we define God is how we will live our life. And third, helping us to live a Christ-based love. You might be wondering, isn't a Christian and a follower of Christ one and the same? Well, they should be. However, sadly, I believe they are not. I believe some, if not many Christians, are not following the way of Christ. In my reading, understanding, discerning, and teaching of the Bible, and the Gospels in particular, not once do I see Jesus ever bringing or causing any pain and suffering or division to anyone. I see Jesus always being very inclusive, welcoming, accepting, and affirming of all people. I see Jesus always healing, feeding, and forgiving everyone in body, mind, and spirit. The times Jesus seemed to attack people, I believe in all actuality, he was attacking their sin and not them. I believe we see that very clearly, if not best, from the cross when Jesus forgave everyone, including you and me, because of our sin, which nailed him to his cross. Jesus died once for all, for the forgiveness of all sin. If there would ever have been a time for Jesus, for God, to be vengeful, wrathful, and retributive, Good Friday would have been the time. However, Jesus and God allowed that worst sin ever to happen. Why? I believe to show the epitome of God's love, to show the world violence is never the solution. Only love is the solution to all the world's problems, problems caused by sin. Why did God allow that atrocity to God's very self in the person of Jesus the Christ? Because God so loved the world because all people were created in God's image, which I believe is love. In love, God created us. In love, Jesus redeemed us. In love, God's Holy Spirit calls us to learn about God's all-inclusive love. The Holy Spirit equips and empowers us to obey Jesus' command in his great commission of Matthew 28, 18 through 20, to go to go and make disciples of all people, helping us all to live lives of love as Jesus did. I believe many Christians today have forgotten or simply do not know the all-inclusive and affirming love Jesus, God has had and always will have for the world. If they did, we would not have all the divisive and destructive personal, social, political, and religious problems we have in the world, all fueled by the power of sin, the sin of self, of idolatry, and the need to have power and control over people, causing all the suffering we all experience at times in body, mind, and spirit. How we define God is how we will live our life. I believe how we define God is how we will live our lives. If we define God as wrathful, vengeful, and retributive, that is how we will live our lives. If we define God as an all-inclusive, all-caring, all-forgiving, and all-loving God, we will lead lives of love. Christ-based love. Instead of using the name or the term Christian for our faith belief, which sadly has a very negative connotation these days, I believe a better name is being called a follower of Christ. However, sadly, again, maybe people, many people might be turned off to be a follower of Christ for the same negative reasons. Maybe a new name for followers of Jesus is people living, living with a Christ-based love. What if we all learned, taught, lived, and shared a christ based love for all. Will it solve all the problems of the world? Yes, it can. Realistically, will it solve all the problems of the world? Again, yes, it could. 
However, until Jesus comes again in all his glory, we will still have our problems. And we know why, because of our sin. As people living a Christ-based love, what if we followed Jesus' ex Jesus's example and lived and shared God's love for all? What do we have to lose? Well, we might lose some of our bullies who might become our friends. We might lose not losing sleep over faith and worldly issues. We might lose at least some of our sinning. We might lose our need to have power and control over people. We might just lose again some of our selfish and idolatrous sin and find God's all-inclusive love for us, helping us to see and share God's Christ-based love in all for all.